and this old house will be finished before you know it. You, you just walk right out well we're here on a new project once again out in the bush beautiful spot I love working out here amongst the koalas and the kangaroos and here it is you ready for it bingo look at this baby you're gonna love this it's not the whole house um, so don't get too excited but it is all the verandas all the rafters up there all the balustrading handrails basically we just got to bring it back to a nice state so it is a very nice Queenslander we have tested it and there's no lead paint at all on it uh, that's a really good sign but that's it that's what I'm going to be doing for the next two weeks I give myself two weeks to do this project I'm working by myself um, so I'll just uh, show you what are little tricks and that I've learned over the years we're not doing the gutters the uh, the house cleaner was here yesterday so he's cleaned it all up he's going it all so that's really good just got to get in this door we're still deciding on what colors we're going to be using on this front door um, these balustrading here we're not in the steps we're not touching them so we've basically got the balustrading there the balustrading there around the back all those rafters the posts just bring it up to a saleable position because they're going to be selling it as you can see there it's peeling um, but it's all pretty good I'm happy with it I'll use a bit of spray work on that a uh, bit of love a bit of a uh, bit of 40 years of experience on it and I'll soon have that looking pretty bloody good I'm telling you now anyhow that's my new uh, project and uh, first thing we're going to do I'm going to be doing these rafters so let me get some keys I brought some planks a couple of planks they have a couple of planks here and I just brought some fold up step ladders uh, and I'm just going to be working on those rafters I've just bought a little set of six foot trestles and um, set up I'll probably try and do this section here uh, the rafters but anyhow we'll get some keys have a look and give you a bit of a close-up look of it oh, am I excited no I'm not excited but it's still okay and the good thing about it it is you're ready for it how far it is from my house two minutes from my house and I don't advertise uh, at all I'm not advertised I'm not I don't have any advertisement form I'm not on Facebook I'm not in the yellow pages. I was in the yellow pages 20 years ago and I think that the people get me out of there and once you do a job for somebody uh, you always tend to get that uh, referral. Now we've got the old fashioned key here so we're going to go and see if we can get into the joint like that. Now they're an older couple here. try it and see oh there we go look at that way to go so it's got the original um, the colonial colors which is a white it's a, a light green and a, another green normally this would be a heritage green but they've chosen to be a modern green got a couple of French doors there which have been um, dipped so that's a white stain you'll see you see that one's way that one's quite bad actually so I'll open to any suggestions on how we can get them back to looking good the trouble is this one here is a lot whiter in stain uh, the caustic than this one here so even if I put a coat of um, an oil on this one that one will come up a different color so that's a bit of an issue uh, on how I'm going to get them back they're not actually in the job but she has hinted that she wants them done. Now these are the rafters. There's more French doors there too. So you've got more than two to, um, 
to match, but these two are the real concern. So we've got these rafters, they've never been painted, ever. Now they haven't been painted because of the cost involved to paint them. When this house was built, as you can see, it's not that old, because that's pre-primed fascia there. Don't know how old the house is, it's not that old, it has no lead paint in it, which is absolutely brilliant for me. Well, that's what we've got, we've got these rafters and I'm going to be putting two coats, now this is the wall colour, I'm going to be putting that on and it's got a, a, a dab of green in it, so it's reasonable coverage I think. I've got two coats of Weather Shield Low Sheen in that wall colour to go over these. Now I won't be spraying them, so don't even think, oh yeah, just spray the tin, that won't be happening, they're all going to be done by hand. I'm going to do that back of that uh, pink fascia there as well. Now this is one of them. Then we've got another one, and I'll just go through the house. So we've got two, we've got four French doors. So let me get these keys. I'm pretty sure the other key is for here. Now I won't show you inside the uh, people's house, but I'll just turn the camera on when we get around to the other side. Okay. Actually, I've changed my mind. This is such a beautiful home that I'm going to show you a bit of this house. Uh, but I'm not going to show their personal stuff. But we'll just give you a bit of a look. Alright, I'm going to keep it up high so that you can actually see I'm not going to put on their furnishings. It's their holiday house. What a beautiful old home. Notice the ceilings have been gapped but the walls haven't. That's pretty standard. Okay, we have a key in here. French doors out the back. So here we go. What an awesome view. Lovely. Love it, love it, love it. There's the old truck. Truck's coming on two years old now. Got about 35,000 kilometres on it. So bugger all. Due for uh, its yearly service. These uh, Renaults are 30 kilometre, 30,000 k's or one year. So, but anyhow, they're my rafters I've got to paint. So I'm going to try and do these today. We'll do a, a, a quite a big majority of these today. I'll give myself three days to do all these rafters. So there's about, um, this is about a third of them, I suppose. Now, I've got to do that ceiling there as well. So I'm going to do that in the rafter colour. But I'm going to be running some stain down on here to match this in. So I'm going to keep that, that main beam in in stain just to match in with this area here so that's what I'm going to do when you paint over these power leads uh, this power wire here it'll never dry it'll always be sticky so don't ever you know it's an issue but you got to paint it to match it in but it'll never ever dry uh, it's something to do with electricity or something in there I have no idea but don't be too worried because it doesn't dry. You see, we've got into quite modern out the back here. Uh, we're not doing this deck, so we've got to keep this deck clean. There's a bit of peeling and stuff on these balustradings. As you can see up here, it's, it's actually, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. So there'll be a bit of sanding in there. And I'll also be doing this fascia here uh, and bringing this around um, as well these posts here some of them are actually pretty good the handrails will need stripping back but I'll be doing all that with a, uh, a sander so this is probably the worst areas you see they've had a bit of a go at painting this themselves so that's the original I would say and then this would be whatever they put on. So they've basically just scratched it back and put a coat on, so that's not gonna work, obviously. We don't have to touch anything up there. So 
So that's all good news. We're not touching the rest of the house. But as you can see, not far over there is the start of the veranda. So really we're doing about, I don't know, probably three quarters of the house. I've got to get these planks in it up here so I can start on here. So welcome to my new project. I'll probably be doing some videos. I'm here by myself, so I'll probably be doing some videos uh, over the, the, the next uh, couple of weeks. And um, anything I see of interest, I'll, I'll video, video the finished, but not that you're really going to be able to tell. Uh, obviously the rafters you'll be able to tell because they'll be so different. They should always, when I first came here, they weren't, didn't want these rafters done. And uh, when I first came here, it was the first thing if I was a house buyer, this bothers me. I mean, this bothers me so much um, that I said, look, you have to do them. If you don't do them, it's going to bother the new buyer, you know. Um, I didn't quote as high as I should have for these. So I've got to be efficient on how I do them. So if you have any ideas on how to go about doing these without a spray gun, get back to me, leave a message there. Because, you know, let's see if you are doing, going to be doing or recommend the same thing that I'm going to be doing. I've done these before and I've just brushed them in. You can't hit that roof. That's a big thing. And it is hardwood. You've got tannin stain. Yeah, so wish me luck. Thanks for staying tuned and this old house will be finished before you know it. Catch you later. Bye.